Hi, I'm Dr. David Hasse of the Maxwell Clinic in Nashville, Tennessee. And um, I woke this morning and really uh, was feeling some profound emotions and I wanted to share them with you. It's Sunday morning and many of you are not going to houses of worship that you usually go to and uh, are struggling with the thoughts of coronavirus and its implications in your life. Many of you are having trouble finding a, you know, where, where's your next meal coming from? How is your uh, occupation going to look forward going? What is the world going to look like? It's a scary time for a lot of people. And what I have been impressed by tremendously is I have worked in caring for people and been in the midst of this situation. Um, how much compassion has come out to be? and how much we, uh, as a nation, have come together and continue to come together. And I wanted to give a short reflection on masks, because masks are one of the things that seems to be being having a lot of pushback currently. And an old song came to me from Sunday school from years ago, you know, they'll, they'll know you're Christians by your love. And I think that's actually going to transition into they'll know you're Christians by your mask. Because a mask is an act of love. The masks that are cloth that you wear are not at all to protect you. They are to protect others. They are an act of love, an act of sacrifice, because wearing masks sucks. Uh, I've worn way too many of them. <laughs> um, they are inconvenient. They're hot. They don't look, not, they don't look the way they used to. But they are an expression of love. That's what a mask is. And when you go out into the public right now, we know that we can decrease transmission of coronavirus by wearing a mask, by everybody wearing a mask. And, and while that may be inconvenient and it feels imposing, yeah, it is. It really is. It's both of those. Um, but I want to encourage you uh, to do that as, as an exercise of love and compassion uh, for the world around you, for those people that are the least of these, for those individuals who, um, who you may not know, <laughs> you, you don't know who they are, but you may not know that you are an agent of injury or harm and out of no fault of your own, you may not have known that you were exposed, but this virus transmits oftentimes before we even know that we're sick. And that's one of the really tricky things. That's why testing is so important. So I just want to encourage all of you, see the masks that people wear as acts of love. Then it's a, it's a shift that we have to have in our mind. Instead of seeing a, ma a mask as a object of fear, of mystery, of somebody hiding something, no, somebody is loving you. And, and I want to thank you. Thank the next person you see as wearing a mask. Just say, thanks for caring. Thanks for loving me. Thanks for not, for being part of the solution. That's what we all are at this point in time. We are all part of the solution. One of the things coronavirus has taught us is that we are amazingly powerful as a community. Our actions matter. How we spend our money, how we spend our time, you know, how much, you know, just everything about our daily actions, our consumerism, how much waste we produce, um, how much pollution we produce, all of these things, we have tremendous potential as individuals when we look towards the common good. And I am so proud. Uh, I am so proud of our nations and our community of how we have in repeatedly looked after the least of these and we have been seeking the greater good Certainly there's exceptions, absolutely. But by and large, there's a huge amount of sacrifice that people have willingly made so that others may, may thrive. So please look at a mask as an act of love. Uh, thank a person that you see wearing one. This needs to be a new fashion statement for a while. Well, you know, I, I see some really cool masks coming around and, and that's awesome. You know, it's really pretty cool. So. Excuse my Sunday morning COVID hair, right? <laughs> I thought this was important enough to just say it like it is. And 
Um, and to, I wanted to say to you uh, that I have compassion for you, um, that there's so many challenges that are present in this world. And this great pause is giving us pause to reconsider what is important and the lives and livelihoods and uh, the mission and vision and contribution of each human is incredibly important and it's worth protecting. Um, I wish you all well. Bye-bye.